I've worked here for how long and I've only just realized the concession has like the best lighting. Super cool party people and welcome back to the vlog. I'm at the theater. It is Saturday. Joy, 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 joy. <laughs> there was a show last night, so lots of stuff to just move out of the way to prepare for like not having a show for a week. But this week coming up, I think we have like five shows in a row, which is insane, including two shows on one day, which is insane considering the times. We used to do two shows in a day quite regularly, but it's fine. Anyways, I've been having all these weird dreams lately. A lot of them have been blind channel focused, but last night wasn't, I don't think. It was still just really weird, and um, I can't remember it. I just remember that it was weird. I have so much sleep in my eye. Anyway, nothing exciting really happening for the next couple hours, but theoretically at some point today, I'm going to see Strudel's mom, and she has the puppy with her. That's the rumor, so that is extremely exciting. I don't know if I'll get video footage. I don't know if I'll get video footage, but um, I'll try to get some pictures at least. So that's cool. Anyways, I'm gonna grab my breakfast drink and I'm gonna get started on this day because the sooner I get started, the sooner I can leave. I have gone up these stairs today like a million times that I like just not planning my roots well, I guess. Anyways. My hair is falling out. My face is broken out in a disaster. It's fine. And I'm just finishing up for the day, which is very exciting. I still haven't heard from Strudel's mom, but I reached out to her to be like, hey, if I get dropped off at the soccer field, because a little boy from Blind Channel is playing soccer today, do you want to like drop me off afterwards? We can hang out and whatnot. So we'll see. Anyways, I'm doing timesheets right now and being a very relatively backlit because that's what we do. But yeah, because I think that'd be great because then I would have an hour or so to hang out with her and the puppy and to see the little boy play. Maybe, I don't know, they seem to be discouraging people watching. So I don't know, but I'll, I'd at least be able to see him a little bit afterwards. So we will see. I was like, are you willing, are you able and willing? Because that's the thing, like with COVID, I would get it if she's like, no, I don't wanna be anywhere near you. All right, timesheets are in for my department. I am super organized. Usually I wait until Tuesday or Wednesday. They're due on Wednesday, so I am on top of it this time. And then I'm just gonna pack my bag up and uh, get ready to go here. Hopefully I hear back from Strudel's mom here soon because I think that would work out really well just for everybody involved. Yes, I know it's pitch black. Anyways, I'm gonna, there, that's a good place to stand. <laughs> like I said, I'm gonna pack everything up, <sighs> turn off all the lights and uh, get ready to leave. Remember earlier today, I think it was, maybe it was yesterday where I was so jazzed that I didn't have any mask commissions. Well, my mom texted me with three masks. So that's the thing, but it's okay. Okay, so <laughs> it is, after 4.30 now, and let me just tell you how my day went because it's so different. So I had texted Strudel's mom and I was like, hey, if I get a ride up to the field, can you drop me off? And she was like, yeah, that's totally cool. And then she was like, one of my bosses was going to the washroom and then she wanted to use the bathroom at the theater. I was like, yeah, I can help her out with that. So then we chatted and she's like, oh, you should come for lunch with us. I'm like, well, I don't want to like impose or anything. And then I got dropped off up at the field and not only was Millie there, the tiny little puppy, oh my God. <laughs> Strudel was there too. So it was like, I was just in heaven. I didn't get any footage because one, dealing with two dogs, one of which is a puppy and one which like, he, Strudel doesn't go into public very often. And so just trying to, that was like a two person job wrangling them. And two, it was so cold. It wasn't raining or anything, thankfully. It was just so cold. And so watched the game. They lost, unfortunately, but that's fine. And then we went and we met up for lunch where the girl from Blind Channel who like broke her ankle was works now. And so that was nice. It was just like a whole big um, reunion. So that was fantastic. And the, the puppy, oh, is it puppy? <laughs> um, 
but then it started to rain and we brought the puppy over to the restaurant so she could see the puppy and then had to let the puppy pee and it started raining and raining and then I was like holding the puppy in the car because there wasn't enough room for the puppy and so I had the puppy and then Strudel being from the back being like why don't you love me and I was like Strudel honey I love you so much and um so I got drenched a little bit plus I was cold so I came home and like first thing I did was jump in the shower to warm up and now I am in like mass like sweatpants not sweatpants fleece pajama pants I've got my pajama hoodie on I have really thick socks on which are definitely falling off and I've just been laying in my bed for like probably the last hour but I figured I should get up and moving now um I don't know don't know what I'm gonna do today but uh maybe do some more embroidery I don't know I'm kind of snacky I had mac and cheese for lunch um this is super cheesy like a little more cheesy than I would normally like and also to update on the weather if you so care it is so miserable outside right now like it is storming and windy like i didn't even open my curtains i'm like i don't need to see that it's fine so yeah anyways i should probably cut some masks today because i am i keep remembering that i have an essay to edit tomorrow and i'm kind of sad about that but for now i'm just gonna have a drink this is super convenient that i'm sitting here right next to my fridge because <laughs> i wanted one of these and then um I don't know, get off the floor, I guess. Okay, I've realized two things in like the five minutes it took me to move off the floor and onto my desk chair. Wow. Um, I legitimately have nothing written down to do today, like other than work and like workout and vlog edit upload, which are like my standards. And, oh my goodness, I'm shitting like crazy. Um, I don't really have anything written down, and I realized I need to edit yesterday's vlog at some point. And also, I have scrunchies cut that I need to sew, and I have these masks that I need to make. So, I'm like, eh, maybe I should try to be productive here. I think I'm going to start with moving the footage, because then at least it's on my computer. <laughs> And then tomorrow, like, I think, oh, and then tomorrow, like I mentioned, I do have to edit an essay, so I need to get that on the list, and I have invoicing tomorrow, but today, like, it looks like I have nothing planned, but I should really actually get something in the works, because otherwise I think I'll feel super unaccomplished. You know how earlier I was saying that I didn't want to open my windows because it was so miserable outside? Well, it's still terrible and I just checked and there's actually like a wind warning in effect because it's bad. <laughs> anyway, it is just about nine o'clock now. I cut the masks and I ironed them, which is exciting. Had dinner, came up and laid on my bed for a while because I'm like, I'm not feeling it today. Um, but I'm going to thread my machine now and at least, what I would like to do ideally is sew all the pieces and then um, put the nose pieces in and then maybe pin, we'll see. But it's 
it's gonna be slow. I'm not gonna be particularly motivated and we'll just see how it goes. Cause I'm, I just wanna go to sleep now to be honest, but I figure I should wait at least an hour. And 10 o'clock seems like a good time to climb into bed and start to think about sleep, I think. Yeah. Alrighty, so it is 10.30 now, and um, I went a little bit further than I intended to with the masks. <laughs> They're all sewn and flipped, and I just need to top stitch them and then do the channels and put the elastic in. So that's like super more than I was intending to do. <laughs> like I was just intending to put the nose pieces in the lining, but there they are. They're super cute. Like. I definitely don't need another mask, but like that one's super fun. <laughs> I also thread up my spool here, the first one that I need for the Grinch mask. And then down here, I have all the bobbins that I need and all the spools for everything there. Because basically the super annoying thing, and it's probably just because I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I want to have the thread always match, is I need to have white on the bottom and then the color on the top when I'm top stitching so it matches. But then when I fold over the sides, I need to have, this is a terrible example because it's black, so you probably can't see it, but I need to have the black there and then the white here. Because you shouldn't notice the stitching ever. When I was doing the poppy masks, I was like having just like an existential crisis over it. Probably not that much, but several hours spent going, well, the background is white in this one, but the red kind of covers the majority of it. So should I top stitch in red or should I top stitch in white for hours, for hours? Anyways, I went with white in the end, but that's just not interesting stuff. Anyway, I think I'm gonna get ready to climb into bed now. I'm half changed into pajamas. I think I'm gonna sleep in pajama shorts tonight. I don't know, we'll see. My face is like so broken out and I hate it. It's just getting worse and I don't know if it's from wearing masks or what. So I'm just gonna talk like this for a minute. But yeah, I'm just gonna clear off my bed. I've just moved a few things over there and climbed my bed here soon. I just finished watching Beauty and the Beast Enchant at Christmas. It's such a good movie. I love it. The songs. I was actually watching Supernatural, which I have back on, but <laughs> someone said stories and then it made me think of the song from Enchant at Christmas. And so I watched that instead. Anyways. I'm gonna stop rambling and um, I think go get ready for bed. Maybe chill here for a bit longer, but then go get ready for bed, I'm sure. Alrighty, that's really bright. So I just spent way more time than I should have scrolling on the internet, laying on my bed, not actually even in my bed, <laughs> not getting ready for bed. Then I had a snack and it is quarter after 12 now, so I'm gonna go sleep because that is a thing I should do. Um, I, I don't think I want to sleep in tomorrow, but maybe I'll sleep in like till nine instead of like eight. Um, and then tomorrow I want to finish these masks, hopefully also work on the scrunchies that I cut the other day and my embroidery piece. Plus I have to do invoicing and I have an essay to edit. So I think it's going to be a pretty busy day, I think. So I should get to sleep now. So with that, I'm going to say thanks so much for coming along on today's adventure and I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night.